Hello and welcome to this new episode of Free Science 365. And today we are going to show you something amazing. Today I'm going to tell you how to see infrared light. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Basically, the light that we see, you know, for example, mm, this is light, isn't it? The white light. Now, the white light has actually seven colors. We know that. So that's why a rainbow has seven colors. What are those seven colors? Well, they are violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. So on one end you have violet and on the other end you have red. But those seven colors are the colors that we can see. But beyond those seven colors are other colors that our eyes cannot see, but they exist. Now, violet on the one side and red on the other side of the visible spectrum of light. After violet comes UV, ultraviolet, you know, the kind of light uh, that makes us darker, I don't know. So, <clears throat> we can see ultraviolet, but we can see the effects of ultraviolet rays, ultraviolet light. Uh, if you print out uh, something, you know, on a printer and you keep it in sun for long, after a few days it will deteriorate. If you print out a black color, you know, black text, after a few days it turns into brownish, you know, color text. So it is deteriorating. The reason is ultraviolet rays. So you can't see ultraviolet, but you can see the effects of ultraviolet. On the other hand, on the other side of the spectrum, we have red, but after red comes infrared. Now we cannot see infrared color either with our naked eyes, but we can see the effects of infrared color. Where? Well, you have remote controls and those remote controls run with infrared light, infrared light rays. Now we cannot see infrared, but we can see when you use a remote control you know, the TV switch is on, the air condition switch is on, the fan switch is on, the light switch on. Well, that's infrared light. You can see the effect of it. You can see what happens when infrared light travels and, you know, hits the receiver or in the TV or air condition or in the lights of the house or anything else that you have with you. Uh, so that's the effect of infrared light. But what if I told you there's one way of actually seeing infrared light? Now that would be amazing, isn't that? And that's exactly what we are going to do today. I'm going to show you how to see infrared light. So let's get started. First, as always, let me show you what you need for this experiment. So all you need is basically two things, a remote control and a smartphone. But you must have noticed I have two smartphones here. Now let me quickly explain you why we need this smartphone to be displayed here. Well the reason is very simple. Many of you might have an Apple smartphone so just so that you don't feel frustrated why the experiment is not working uh, on the Apple phone iPhone so I should inform you this will not work on an iPhone the reason is very simple Apple software doesn't allow the camera to work in the same way uh, as Android's software allows so Apple software, iOS doesn't allow this effect, this thing to work on iPhones. 
So please try to avoid iPhones for this experiment. I have done I have done this experiment on iPhone 6, iPhone 6s, iPhone 7, iPhone 8. It never works. So be careful with that. If you try to do it, you know, do it on on your own risk because I can't guarantee that this experiment will work on an iPhone. So that's why I included iPhone here, you know, so that you know before you start the experiment. Now, with that thing taken care of, let's start the experiment of the day. So today's experiment is how to see infrared light. Well, let's start. So as I said, all you need is any remote control as long as, uh, you know, you can see the LED that actually emits uh, the infrared light and any smartphone. So usually if you you know if you press any button on remote control you can see the TV being switched on or the lights you know or the air condition starting but you can't see any light coming out of this LED but there's a way take any smartphone now this smartphone that I have with me is an old Samsung Galaxy S6 smartphone so it's a very old maybe four or five years old phone so that's all you need you need an Android smartphone with a good camera uh, or even a mediocre camera is okay uh, the better camera you have on the phone the better will be you know the visibility of the infrared light but you can do it on any Android phone uh, it will all you know give this the, the, the same result you will be able to see uh, infrared light <coughs> now what was that anyway now so basically all you need is and uh, is a remote control and a good camera on an Android phone now let's get started so as I showed you if you just press the buttons you cannot see any light coming out now let's do it with the phone camera so start the camera app that's the camera app here and now try to see the remote control through the camera okay I don't know how to put it in a better way oh, okay yeah I think that's that will help you uh, so as you can see yeah as you can see now I'm looking at the remote control through the lens of the camera on the Android phone now let's press the button and lo and behold you can see can you see the, the flickering light you know these are the pulses of infrared light uh, the, the remote control has been programmed to send the pulses of infrared light to the TV or whatever machine you have connected with it and depending on the, the these pulses or the flickers of light uh, infrared light the appliance works in certain way so there you are that's infrared light the pink ish you know deep red pink ish light now this is infrared light isn't that amazing you can uh, some some cameras don't work as good as this one so try to change the angle you know try to change the the angle of the remote control move it up or down you know left right and hopefully you'll be able to see it as uh, as good as I can see it here so that's it isn't that amazing so you have this and now if I remove it you don't see but as soon as I put it 
you can see that isn't that amazing so that's our experiment of the day you can see infrared light and that is amazing isn't that yeah so that does that's our experiment of the day very simple but to me very magical thank you for watching this video and as always please like subscribe and spread the good word uh, get your friends to subscribe uh, the more people subscribe the more motivated will I be in you know bringing out these small simple uh, but amazing experiments thank you